Welcome back. This is season two, episode one of the 1964 Shasta travel trailer custom rebuild. Last October, uh, we left you with uh, basically a floor, walls, part of a ceiling, and no wall in the back. So, just to update, um, we did complete the wall in the back, so we have a complete box. Windows are cut out, partially wired. The back shelf here has um, these are uh, holes for DC fans in the corners. Uh, 120 recept in the middle there is a uh, 12 volt DC recept and there's AC and another fan in that corner. Step inside here. And that is a LCD flat panel mount. The DC TV will be here tomorrow. That will have a dedicated circuit to that. Uh, the shelf in the back here. Um, the molding. Okay, and there's all the wires uh, running to the different receptacles and fans and so forth. Uh, kitchen window. This area here is the uh, where the fantastic vent will be installed and uh, the DC wiring for a uh, dedicated circuit for the Fantastic and this one here will be for uh, LED lighting. There'll be LED lighting throughout, strip lighting as well as overhead, high illuminated uh, LCD. Basically the, the tape on the floor is where the cabinetry will go in and over here will be a power distribution center where all the wires come in and the circuits go out. Uh, that's uh, the area where the uh, shore power will come in. Over here on this side will be the battery bay. It's uh, going to be set up for two 6 volts, but we'll start with one 12 volt and burn that out and then go to two 6 volts so we have uh, lots of capacity and time for DC power. Um, the bed basically comes out it's a queen size bed so it comes out as far as that blue tape there and halfway over the fender wells. It sits fairly high with lots of storage on underneath the bed. The bed will be on an actuator where it will pop up and you can get to the storage and so forth. So uh, over here is, is the kitchen area. We have a, a 20 amp GFCI circuit here, dedicated circuit. Uh, over here is the front shelf. It'll also have the molding coming off the front here. Uh, there'll be a, a stereo here, uh, four speakers in the ceiling. Uh, underneath here we also have the uh, DC fans pushing air in each corner. DC reset with a charging port. AC, 120 AC coming in there. Uh, another 120 uh, recept there, as well as another uh, fan port. Those are the actual chairs that will be in the trailer there. Um, and that does it for the inside. Let's go take a look at the wiring on the outside here. Side. Uh, again, this would be the, the shore power coming in, 30 amp service. Uh, we got uh, 120 right now running back to the back shelf. The wire comes in right there, feeds into that shelf. Uh, I'll run the, the 12 volt uh, wire wiring tomorrow. Uh, this is where all the wires come in and go into the power distribution center. And these are all the uh, 
wiring for the 12 volts and the 120. This is the dedicated circuit that goes to the kitchen here. There's the kitchen window. Looking up into the vent hole, that'll have the fantastic up there. Um, windows are cut out. So it's looking good. I want to keep my three subscribers up to date. So I wanted to do this video, and it's an extra long video. So this again is season one, or no, I'm sorry, season season two. We had five episodes last season. This is season two, episode one. And uh, that'll do it. We're pretty close to putting the skin on this thing. So I will definitely update when I get some more stuff done. Here's a, a visual of the aluminum siding. We're going to have um, S-locks, 4-inch run on the sides, and then down the center band will be a, a diamond quilted pattern. So we're trying to go for that uh, vintage Spartan look. Um, it'll have that Spartan look on the bottom with the, with the there's no cutout for the fender well, so it won't look like a, a regular Shasta, um, at least on the bottom. But, okay, and there it is. It's over 100 degrees here in Medford, and it's also quitting time.